it is a puck and why do we need to adjust it? Hi, I'm Ron Polk and this is the Smart Wood Shop. If you want to get a detailed set of plans to build one of my workbenches, the Smart Wood Shop itself, or any of the accessories that work with the system, there's a link in the description of this video down below. The puck is this cam that is on the back of the saw here and the same position on the front of the saw. And basically it's a circle, a a nylon basically plastic circle that has an offset hole so it is a cam. If you rotate it you can change its relative position to adjust this material support with my CTS when I push it right up next to the saw and run my fingers across it it is perfectly adjusted. When I took it out of the box it was perfectly aligned. I did not need to do this. I actually threw it out of calibration and brought it back into calibration a number of times just to see how difficult it is to do. For part of the operation, we're gonna need the toolbox out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that first. Next, mount the fence on the outboard position, the furthest out, so you can get that 24 and a half rip. Move your fence all the way out to the 24 and a half position. Flip over the support, and there's two positions for this. There's all the way down, which is again, uh, to be adjusted flush with the table. And then there's an upper position and that would ride over the table for narrow rips. So make sure it's in that lower position. Once you have it in this position, grab a straight edge, make sure that it's flat on your table and then run it out there and see if there's any air space or if it bumps into it. Either way, whether it's too high or too low, flip the material support back into its stored position unlock the fence and go all the way back to zero and past because we want to expose the pucks for adjustment. If you look at them closely, it's really easy to see, but because the center is offset, when I rotate it counterclockwise, it's going to get thicker on the top. So that would raise up. So counterclockwise is going to raise the support up. Clockwise would lower it. So you want to obviously go in the opposite direction. To make the adjustment, you'll need a pair of pliers and a little piece of cloth because you want to protect the puck. You don't want to be scarring it up. That's the surface that your fence rail rides on and so you want to keep that nice and smooth. So I'll place this around there and I am going to rotate it clockwise and because mine's in proper alignment already, this is going to actually lower it so that I'll um, need to raise it back up to bring it in proper alignment. You don't need to move it much. There is a three millimeter Allen in there. You don't need to loosen or tighten that to do this. And put the fence back out in that same position, lock it, flip the support back over. With just that small turn, I've dropped my support down one eighth of an inch and the back is a little less than an eighth. Now I'm gonna reverse the process. I wanna raise it back up which means I'm going to go counterclockwise. And again, not very much, just go back and forth with this, just doing small turns. The back of it now is perfect, but I still need to bring the front up just a little bit more. And that's it. Just by adjusting this back and front puck, you can align this material support perfectly. There is a second adjustment you can do while you're here. The guide rail, both back and front, is a long rail. It's, a, it's the same plastic nylon. It's very slick, smooth for the fence to move across smoothly. It's basically a couple of tapers and there's a single three millimeter bolt and nut that when you loosen them, you can move the two parts back and forth to make it thicker or thinner. The, obviously, the, the taller you make it or the th thicker you make it, then it's going to uh, tighten up in this rail and will reduce this upward movement. Be careful making this adjustment. You can make it so there's very, very little movement, but then it's tight and then the the action of setting your fence then become will, will become a bit tight. And remember, the, having a little upper deflection 
does not impact the quality of the cut, the accuracy of the cut, the accuracy of the reading. It really has no bearing on anything at all because we've, we've set up this so that the support is flush with the table and we're pushing our material down and through. So if it has a little bit of uplift, it's just, it's, it's not anything that's going to interfere with the cut. And any saw that is going to be extended like this, you're going to have some amount of movement in it. And this is certainly very reasonable and I've got mine adjusted. And again, I have knocked mine out of adjustment and put it back into adjustment, but mine came out of the box adjusted and did not need this to be done. But it is nice to know how to do it in case in the future I need to adjust it. So I will knock mine out of adjustment and make it have a little more flex in it. Take my three millimeter Allen key and then this basically taper or shim will move, it'll move about an inch or so. So I'll go all the way back with it and now I've got quite a bit more movement. Again, this would not impact the accuracy quality of the cut. My support is still at the same place because that's adjusted with that puck. So that's all the way, as loose as it can go. And I'm just holding it in place with my finger as tight as it'll go. So I'd say that um, it cuts out about two-thirds of it. But the thing I want to be careful about is if I go too far, is it going to be uh, too snug for this to move smoothly? So the only way to really know is to tighten it up. My back one is already adjusted. I'm not going to do that. It'd be just repeating the same thing. And it's a little snug, but I think this, is, this feels good. Even without the lock on, I feel good. If I get it to a position, it's going to stay where I stop turning it before I lock it. Now you know with that puck adjustment and guide rail adjustment, you can make sure that your fence support is perfectly aligned and yet still operates smoothly. If you enjoy these tool maintenance and adjustment videos, then be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss a single video we put up. Thanks for hanging out with me today in the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.